depends on the kind of photography you want to do. For me, as a portrait photographer, I'm going to use a longish lens. So on a full frame camera, somewhere around like an 85 to a 100, 120, somewhere in that ballpark. Um, on a crop sensor, you want to go a little bit shorter, so maybe like 50 to 85. Uh, for a medium format, I'm probably looking like a 90 to a 120. So it really depends on this. I like a relatively long lens, either minimal distortion to the face, very, very minimal, or, or none. And so that's usually why I'm shooting with a longer lens. That's generally my go-to. So I'd probably say for me on a medium format system, I'm on a 120 millimeter the most. When I was on a full frame system, 85 was my go-to lens. In terms of light, consistent, um, I want a consistent, reliable monolight. Uh, if you're looking for a portable light, you want something speed light powered. I'm a big fan of the B2. It's small, it fits in the Profoto ecosystem. Amazing light. B1s, I have a couple of those as well, more powerful. They're basically battery operated monolights. They allow me to basically use studio strobes anywhere I want without having to worry about them being plugged into the wall. Uh, if you want something plugged into the wall, the Profoto D1s or D2s are great, reasonably priced options that get you into that, that ecosystem. I've owned many brands of lights over the years. That's what I use now. I'm super happy with it, and that's what I've got. In terms of a modifier, I think one of the best bang for the buck modifiers is the umbrella with a diffusion. There's a lot of different modifiers out there, different kinds of softbox, and I use lots of them in a lot of different scenarios, but the umbrella with diffusion is probably, I think, the, a great entry level modifier that just creates beautifully soft light and, you know, I, Certain favorite shots that people have of mine, I'd probably say when they, they, they scroll through them, half of them are shot with the umbrella with the diffusion.